A new report reveals drivers in Georgia's majority black zip codes pay higher premiums. In tonight's Affording Atlanta, Jonathan Martin takes a closer look at how insurance providers are now setting the rates and why some say that needs to change and how you can actually save money. Bridget Cunningham loves living in the Capitol View neighborhood in southwest Atlanta. We have the Beltline. We have lots of great people. Everybody around here is like family. But she never expected moving to this area would mean she'd have to pay a higher car insurance premium. I'm very surprised. I don't have any tickets, I'm, uh, no DUIs, nothing. My record is clean. My insurance should not be that much. When shopping for auto insurance recently, she said she provided her Southwest Atlanta zip code and several insurance companies quoted her just under $200 for basic liability coverage. After talking with friends in a different zip code on the north side of Atlanta in Buckhead, Bridget learned they were paying $30 less for the same coverage. I was shocked, you know, and I'm like, this is redlining. A lot of people didn't even know that this was happening, that these inequities occurred. Raphael Baker is a longtime insurance agent who ran for Georgia Insurance Commissioner two years ago on the platform of insurance equity. He points to a new lending tree study that shows Georgia drivers who live in majority black zip codes like Bridget's pay on average 11 percent more for auto insurance. Georgia law does not allow car insurance companies to use race to determine your rates, but they can look at your zip code to determine risk and factor in things like crime rates, traffic patterns, and the number of accidents in the area. But it goes a little deeper than that. There are socioeconomic factors that have nothing to do with your driving history, such as your credit score, whether or not you own a home, your marital status. All of those things come into play. It disproportionately impacts black people. So bottom line is there's inequity. Some states prohibit the use of zip codes and credit scores to determine rates. Bridget is hoping Georgia will do the same. Because it's not fair when you're judging, you know, by where someone's, someone is living, the zip code. Baker says for now there are things you can do to save on payments like bundling your car coverage with renters or homeowners insurance, staying with the same provider for at least a year to take advantage of loyalty discounts, and increasing your liability limits above the state minimum. He says it may cost you more up front, but you can save more money over time. In Atlanta, Jonathan Martin, 11 Alive News. And you know what? We have a link to Lending Tree's full report on Georgia zip codes and car insurance rates. In this story on 11alive.com, it's going to include a breakdown of which insurance providers had the largest and smallest difference in rates by zip code. You're going to find that article right there on our homepage.